My name is Robert Wright and born and raised here in Reisterstown, Maryland. Anthony Fikes and I am born and raised on the south side of Chicago. Robert and I actually met at a uh, work function. Uh, Robert and I have known each other for over 15 years and we met at a work function kind of you know, you know, unassumingly. Uh, we met where well, we were at kind of the conference and we kind of struck um, striked up a kind of conversation based upon love of movies. Um, lo and behold, Robert and I had the same movies that we love, but also same the movies that we kind of hated too. And um, from there, we kind of just made, you know, kind of stayed connected uh, with each other. And for the most part, after the, after, um, the conference, um, Robert became one of my closest friends. We knew that we had to make major changes to this establishment. Um, we wanted this to be a place where people would feel relaxed, comfortable. Um, you know, Robert and I, we know is that we're, we're not people that give up. And we didn't want to let this dream go. And so at that point, we said, okay, look, you know, how do we make this happen at, at any cost? And so those costs came from obviously, you know, personal costs, um, as well as, you know, we looked outside to try to figure out some other sources, you know, personal sources and then outside sources as well for uh, funding. And, you know, for the most part, you know, you know, we're still, you know, Robert still had to sell his PlayStation um, in order to, you know, try to fund some of this. We fought, we fought to get this um, in a time where we also looked into trying to get loans from the county as well. Everyone was really supportive, but they just, they wanted a lot of paperwork, um, you know, and, and, and we felt that, you know, trying to, trying to go that route was going to kind of prolong us, um, you know, to kind of prolong the process. And so we, uh, we, we did it in a way where, you know, we, we, we kind of, you know, self, you know, self invested kind of, you know, in the, in the project. So when we first walked in, the bathroom was directly beside the concession stand. So that, so we knew that was one of the first things that right. we had to change. Right. Um, also, as you're probably aware, this industry is changing. It's, it's evolving, right? So when you go to theaters now, what do you see? You see seats that recline, leather seats, you have a bar, you can order food. And this was the perfect place because there was a, a restaurant attached to the theater. So Tony and I, we decided that we was going to gut this place from the front door all the way to the screen. We changed the doors, the floors, um, the seats, the projectors. Everything that you touch in here is practically brand new. You know, we took out, um, you know, you had to tap into your home. You know, for example, home equity, right? You know, personal credit cards. Um, personal loans, um, whatever, whatever it took in order to get this business off the ground. Personal we, savings. Personal savings accounts. You know what I mean? Like, you know, piggy banks from our, our, our kids or piggy banks from Robert's kids. When we opened up with us, it was a Saturday and we had a couple. They were sitting here in the bar area. And, you know, just through general conversation, asked, where are you guys from? And they were from Virginia. And the reality is, you know, Virginia, an hour and a half away, they probably drove at least past 15 theaters where they could have just saw us a lot quicker than driving all the way to Pikesville. That's right, that's right. But these, this, this couple, they were determined to watch the movie Us in our establishment. Watch Us and, and Us. Watch Us and Us. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, yeah. Um, when the word started getting out, it was, it was actually, um, you know, uh, Robert's brother Paul who actually put the word out. And it was awesome because Paul, Paul had all these followers and once um, the word got out amongst Paul's followers then it kind of went viral and that's when it was I mean it was humbling because we got so much kudos congratulations you know um, I'm the first black theater in Pikesville the, the support has been over, overwhelming it's um, from, from, from other states from Texas people are asking us about franchising um, from you know South Carolina um, you know and it, it's, it's been awesome as soon as you walk into the door, you're going to feel greeted. You're also going to um, have the option to order food from your seat. We have service come directly to you. We also have libations as well. So we have beer and wine on tap. We would love to be able to replicate this um, somewhere else. Um, this is going so well right now. At some point, we would love to think about you know, making this much, a much larger impact um, you know, somewhere else. We're not really sure you know, where that would be, but I think that you know, we've kind of been tested. Um, and battle tested, you know, with the things that we've had to overcome with this, that we can actually um, accomplish opening up, you know, somewhere else. But we want to make sure that, that we, we stay true to what we've done in Pikesville. Yeah, exactly. Um, actually, the other day I was reading a, um, a message off of YouTube, no, oh, I'm sorry, off of Facebook, and the gentleman said he wished that he had this here in Florida. 